All right, what you all been waiting for? Another down in the box. Ross Green alongside Eric Toothpaste. Today we're going to be looking at Flag Sets Army Special Forces Group figure. First off, I want to say a little special thanks to Castle Collectibles, Alex and Candy, for getting this figure over to us a little bit early so we can show you guys all the nice parts. All right, let's, let's open this some bitch up. One of the unique pieces on this thing is going to be the vest. Love the cage armor chassis. It's very nicely made, uh, something you don't see very often. Let's get what everybody's thinking about. A lot of the pieces are similar between the Marsock and this figure. All differences, even though they seem similar, but this stuff, that's like our troops. This stuff is what is issued to those guys. This is um, authentically geared up. Wait, just, just as the first release, you're going to get the M4 rifle. A lot of the accessories are really top notch on this one. Love the SU-232 clip on night vision device thermal. All the accessories on the rifle are pretty easy to attach. Even the night vision thermal device. Yeah, I really like that. It was. It's a really nice piece. I haven't. Yeah, I think it's a um, SU-232. For being the first two figures that are coming out from a, a toy company, these are pretty nice. I mean, if you if you think of a lot of the of the other companies when their first figures came out, yeah, it was they had a little bit to go, and I mean, the excitement's there to see what the potential is if if this is just the beginning, what the next few figure releases could be. I do like the head sculpt more than the Marsock. Um, they did a really nice paint job with the eyes. It's a good detail on that. The boots are actually really nice on this figure. They're on power with like your soldier story type boots. Let's come with the uh, fast helmet. Nicely done except my, my one concern is the uh, MVG bungees. They're a little bit too loose. So for, for, my, for my taste, it's just I wish they would have tightened that up a little bit. I do like the cry precision pants. Uh, they're not tight, they're not super loose. It's a nice fit on my 12 inch man. I like the patches. You have like an Iron Man patch with this one and one that says, and I'm only quoting the patch, hey fuck face. And how many toys come with a hey fuck face and an Iron Man patch in the same set? I will say, if I, was out, if I actually had enough balls to be in the military, my patches would be one of a kind out there because I'd, I'd want these I, some bitch terrorists <laughs> to know what was coming. Yeah, well, I wouldn't even want to know what would be on your patches. Um, with a lot of these pieces, they do go into some nice detail. I love the uh, windowed P mags. Really nice touch with how they did with that. I like the Aquafina bottles with the caps come off. In case your guy gets a little thirsty, comes with two Aquafina bottles with two removable lids. That's all we got for you today. See you guys next time. Down in the box. Roscoe. Don't move, Abdul. Die, infidel! It's over. It took a long time, but it's finally over. Now I can get back to New York and start my retirement with my wife and kids. What I didn't know then. It was too late. My wife and kids were killed that same day in the middle of a terrorist shooting. I vowed that day to start a one-man war on terror. I vowed to get my revenge. From that day forth, I'll be known as the Revenger.